This video will demonstrate the proper procedure for updating the software on communicating gas furnaces using a shared data microchip inserted into Jack E117 located on the printed circuit board. If the unit is running, cancel any call for heating or cooling and allow the system to go through a normal shutdown and come to a complete stop. Once the blower has completely cycled off, disconnect all power to the indoor unit. Ensure you are wearing the proper personal protective equipment before opening the equipment. Remove the top and bottom door panels on the furnace and locate the microchip terminal on the printed circuit board. The shared data microchip is vulnerable to static electricity damage. All precautions should be taken to prevent exposing the chip to static electricity from your handling of it. Wear non-conductive gloves before unpacking and handling the microchip. Ground yourself to the unit by contacting the unit before and during the handling of the microchip. Grasp the chip by the corners opposite of the plug to prevent damaging it. Before updating the furnace models that require the software update, verify the chip is the correct one for the capacity of the unit you are updating by referring to the table found in the technical bulletin or by searching the parts list for any particular model. Once all precautions have been taken, insert the chip into Jack E. 117 located next to the 7 segment display on the furnace's printed circuit board. After you insert the chip, apply power to the furnace and press in the door switch. Code 88 will appear for approximately 1 second. Then the display should show ON. This indicates the process was successful. Follow all of the same anti-static discharge precautions for removing the chip that you followed for unpackaging and handling the chip. Return the chip to the anti-static wrap and packaging for future use. If a D4 code appears on the 7 segment display, it indicates the chip is faulty. You will have to repeat the process using a different chip.